What's going on everyone, this is Alan again on YouTube on Sunday, August 9th, 2020. I have another news and update on the coronavirus situation. Early last week, we had 18 million coronavirus COVID-19 cases worldwide, concurrently for last Friday's update. We had 19 million cases worldwide, and the United States exceeded 5 million cases nationwide. Now as of today for the latest, the number of COVID-19 infections exceeded 20 million cases and 700,000 in worldwide death toll in this global pandemic. As I just looked up from the latest updated data from COVID-19 global hotspots, Brazil reported over 3 million, and India reported over 2 million cases which the emerging COVID-19 virus had gone haywire in those countries, especially worldwide as well. I just noticed today that Brazil became the second country to hit 100,000 in death toll from COVID-19. I also noticed that my home state of Texas has exceeded 500,000 cases statewide, making it the third state in the U.S. to exceed that value after California and Florida. Even Texas exceeded more cases in the state of New York as well. This has got to stop this relentless disease spread going haywire at all costs. California, Florida, Arizona, and my home state of Texas should have a COVID-19 threat level red by now. I also mean it for danger level red from this viral disease too. Perhaps that you must do social distancing in public and wear face masks as required by your current state or city law. Fortunately, over 12 million people around the world have been recovered from COVID-19 and 2.6 million in the United States are recovered too. Currently, we have 6.3 million active COVID-19 cases worldwide and 2.3 million in the U.S. Now onto the vaccine update. Back on the day before my 20th birthday, I addressed earlier on the last COVID-19 situation update that both Moderna and NIH entered the third phase, which we're counting on those vaccine candidates that would be ready soon later this year. I know this is going to be fast in order to bring those good news to the public, and those vaccines will be tested to 30,000 healthy people first before making those go into distribution, probably by September I believe. One last thing for this video, I hope those vaccines will be effective against this virus and be ready soon. The SARS-CoV-2 is what I've been hearing about, which that is a virus strain that caused COVID-19 pandemic globally earlier this year. And that's all for the news, update, and situation on this video on YouTube. This is Alan signing out, have a great day, and be safe. Take care.